Okay, so I'm going to start on this picnic table for uh, the raffle. So I got a nice wide top up there. Most of the really wide ones I get have a, a straight side to it. So I'm going to take the chainsaw and I'm going to cut a bit of a live edge in. And I'll probably actually do the other side even though it's a live edge. The bark's on there and the bark really, really sticks on there. And I don't like the, the bark live edge on cedar. So. Well, let's get this going. Okay, so there's that part done. I think I left my face shield out here. I did. So now I use this angle grinder with this shape and disc. Basically, it's a like a wood rasp. And this throws stuff everywhere. So we're going to use a face shield. And that just does a bit of clean up here.
so what I'm gonna do here is obviously I have to do this on both sides and then I got my buffer sander deal here I'm going to uh, sand part of this then I'll bring the camera over and show you the three different things Okay, so I can show you the progression of this. So let me bring you in. So obviously it was just straight up and down before. And then we can see that's what the chainsaw cut looks like. That's the shaper disc, leaves all of those. Then when you're done, that's what it looks like after it's being sanded. So that is what there is to that. So I just got to continue that side and that one, and then I'll get the top all sanded up. You know, and then the benches are in much better. You know, they're they're ready to go. They just need sanding. This is the benches I'm using right here. So I'll, uh, not gonna bother showing you sanding. I think everyone knows what sanding looks like, but I will show you next when I start cutting legs. I'll show you that. And then I'll also show uh, how I deal with them. Um, I always used to use the thickness planer, but now I have a small bench top joiner and I think the joiner works quite a bit better, so. We'll be using the joiner for this one, um, and uh, I'll just show you the whole process. So thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm getting ready to cut these. The saw is loud. We don't need to, you know, it's not like you have to watch me cut these, but uh, these are going to be the legs, 30 degree angle on the end. And they're, for the height that I do, they're right about 29 inches. Um, so I'll need four of those, four legs. Then this piece will go actually go up against one of the, the cross two by sixes uh, that go across the legs that the bench sets on. And this will go, you know, go up against the, that two by six and up to the bottom of the table. So these are 45s on the end of this. And I honestly don't know the correct way to measure these, but long side to long side is 20 and three quarters. And that seems to work out well for me. So I'll need two of those. I'll need four of these. In addition to that, I will need four feet because I put a two, a two by six foot on the bottom of my tables. Gives it a little bit bigger of a footprint so it won't sink in the ground. But that's also what typically rots. So that's kind of a sacrificial piece. So you don't have to replace the whole leg, just that piece. So I'll need four of those. And then I'm also going to need two more pieces. And I'll take you over here. Because this table's pretty uniform. So I can uh, measure it from the top side. Normally you need to do it on the bottom, but it's also not that precise. Hey Beck, can you hold the camera? So if I'm gonna do this, I may as well get something to ride on and ride them down. 
So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need two boards that will screw to the bottom side and that's what my legs screw to. So you want to come in, come in an inch or so from the edges. You know, and this doesn't have to be real precise. I'm just looking here and it's like if I do very outside to very outside. Let's see, I'm probably going to put it somewhere right in here. I could do 29. So I'm probably going to cut that at 27. And then it'll be 45 on each end and it'll be screwed up on the bottom. And this is why you have to do this per table. Because then I can measure this one and we're looking at 24. So, and that's pretty thin over there to be running screws and stuff in it. So I'm thinking about 21 would be best. So now I got those measurements so I can cut those as well. And then I will bring you back in and show you how I joint them to uh, get those cleaned up. So. I got all our, my pieces cut here. Um, so those are all cut. And then those four two by sixes will also need to get all jointed up. So basically this took eight. There's some small scraps there and I cut one extra set of feet um, out of the scrap. So that's what I got out of it. I'll show you real quick with this one leg. I'll show you how I go about jointing it. So let's get the blower going. a minute so I got it jointed up smooth and what I'm gonna do here is I like to put a little angle on the side of these now, I always used to do this with my power uh, hand planer but this fence is adjustable and then I'll run it through like that and I'll show you right now it has really sharp edges you know so they could uh, splinter real easy and stuff so I'll show you what these look like it's kind of like a little 45 on the edge
So no sense showing you all, I mean doing all of them, but see how it went from that sharp edge to that right there. Now granted there are two corners, but not nearly as sharp, not a 90 degree, so it doesn't want to splinter off. So now I just need to do that with all eight of these pieces and four full two by sixes. So I will get going on that. <laughs> 